Hey, Pascal here again, and in this video I will teach you how you can add motion blur to speed ramp transitions in Final Cut Pro X without using any plugins. My name is Pascal Basel, and in 2015 I quitted my job to escape the red race and travel the world. While doing that, I rediscovered my old passion for filmmaking and learned to fly drones. Now I make videos of the most beautiful places in the world, be part of my adventures and learn how to make cinematic travel videos. Speed ramp transitions are pretty popular at the moment, especially for travel videos. I really love to do them by myself and they're actually quite easy to do. I will give you a quick instruction how it works soon. And I also do one tutorial video every week like that, every Thursday. So if you want to see more tutorial videos, then please hit the subscribe button now. But let's get started here on the computer. So what is a speed ramp transition? Speed ramp transition means that at the end of the first clip you will speed up your video and at the beginning of the second clip you will also speed up your video so that the eyes of the human cannot really see anymore the transition itself. So of course when I do it slowly here you can see that these are two clips and there is a transition. But when I play it now, of course I already added the motion blur but you can see the clip here is first like this part here, the orange part is slow motion because I was filming in 60p and then here that blue part here I speeded it up to I don't know about a lot like 1085% yeah, so it goes pretty fast here and here's the next clip I speeded it up at the beginning at 1088% and here later it gets a bit slow. Of course this clip was actually shot completely handheld. I didn't use a gimbal for that or something. So it was quite difficult and I speeded it a bit up because I'm definitely walking slower than this clip is. So usually I, I do um, uh, slow motion here like in that clip. But it's fine. So I will turn off the blur now and then I will show it to you again how to do that. So Let's have a look first how it looks without the motion blur. I mean it's not bad, but of course it could be a lot better because like the transition becomes more obvious now because there's no blur. But also because it's moving fast you want to see a bit more blow motion blur. So right now it's not that good in my opinion. So we will create this effect without any plugins manually and it's actually quite easy because it's already inside Final Cut what you need for that. So we will go to unsharpening effects and you, we will use the Gaussian Blur added to our clips. And what we can do here is we can add keyframes. And I want to add a keyframe exactly where I started the speed ramping. So here and I want to bring that to zero because there obviously I don't want to have that effect. And now as you can see we don't have any blur here. And then I will go to the end of the clip and one frame backwards because that's how it is in Final Cut. Add another keyframe. You don't need to edit. You can simply move the slider here. It will add automatically. Then we will increase the amount. But of course now it doesn't really look like a motion blur. It looks more like the complete image is blurry. And that's why I will bring down the vertical blur so now it looks more like a motion because we on, only have the horizontal blur and that means that the blur only happens in the horizontal space obviously and so that gives the impression if it would go in that direction as you can see it's only applied to the dark clip now so you can already see that there's a motion blur and now I will apply the same effect in exactly the same way, just in the opposite direction to my second clip. The Gaussian blur here. And I will, yeah, I will leave the amount like that and add a keyframe. And then I will add another keyframe where I cut it. So it's around here. And bring it down. And also bring the vertical down. Of course, you don't want to keyframe the vertical. So. And then you can already see that we got a lot of nice blur here that looks like motion blur. Awesome. So let's review it. 
And the nice thing here is also that you could stretch the effect. So for example, because that clip goes a bit faster here all the time, I could, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. I can display the video animation. And here um, in the Gussian Blue effect, I can see the keyframes. So here's one keyframe, here's the other one. So I want to stretch the effect. I can simply move the keyframe here. And now the motion blur got, gets even longer. So you can basically use that for not just speed ramping, but basically for everything where you have a bit more faster motion. And then it gets, it looks better in my opinion. But what you should imagine all the time is that it affects the whole image. It's not an effect that just affects some for, uh, foreground objects or something, especially for drone shots but it affects the whole image. So it's not like an original motion blur. You can really only use it when you do some speeding up in the clip. So then it looks good. Otherwise it would just look weird because the complete image would get blurry. And of course you can do exactly the same clip with movements that go vertically like up and down. So I will show you here. And that is that you simply instead of bringing the vertical vertical blur down, you leave it up at 100 and you bring the horizontal down. As you can see now it's more in the horizontal space here and yeah that wouldn't work for that clip because the movement goes to the right. Um, it's also important that you use clips when doing speed ramps that have movement in the same direction like that clip the camera movement goes to the right and here the camera movement goes to the right so then it fits perfectly. But let's say you want to go to the uh, top right corner for example then of course you would need to add like in both directions and there you could for example make a 50-50 here. So of course it looks more like the complete blurred image, it's not that nice, but that's the only solution. So that effect works best actually when you use it only in one direction and not like when your camera goes to the top left corner or something like that or top right corner. So that's basically it here for the tutorial and I would say when you want to use that kind of transition together with the motion blur then already think of doing that while you're shooting the actual video because then you can only move your camera in the, vertic in the vertical or the horizontal direction and that makes it look better in the end because when, when you move it in other directions then it just doesn't look so good. And also you like mentioned before you want to move both clips like the first clip and the second clip in the same direction so also think of doing that while filming of course especially when you're traveling like me it's not always possible you just try to get the best shots while you're on the way but the way how i do it is that when i did one shot where i moved the camera in one direction and i think of that later hey wait so if i want to create such a transition later how sh what kind of shots would be good as the second shot and then I try to get a second shot like that. So in the first shot you can make it more random, like it doesn't really matter if you shoot horizontally or vertically, but in the second shot then you can think of okay what would match the first shot. So just a little more tip here while filming, stuff like that. So I really hope you like that tutorial and you get better transitions from that. If yes then please hit the subscribe button now and see you in the next video.